Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're gonna be finding out what happens if Arthur goes on a date with Mary but he happens to be a little bit overweight. So this secret encounter occurs in the mission Fatherhood and Other Dreams Part 2. And this occurs in Chapter 4 when you're actually tasked to help Mary, or at least you have the option to help Mary with her father. He's actually stolen something of Mary's, which we actually get into a little bit later in the video, and she asks for your help. And basically, you have to make a decision are you going to help Mary or are you not? If you don't help Mary, you will just get this cutscene right here. But if you do, it will lead you to where we can get to that secret interaction I talked about earlier. So anyways, let's take a listen to this. And this is how the mission begins. You came. Yeah, I came. <laughs> so uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but... But surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... than... Than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? An hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you, begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. So if you go down this path where you agree to help Mary, you're gonna have to find her father who's actually located at the horse stables in Saint Denis. So luckily it's only a quick horse ride away. You have a little bit of a chat and a conversation on your journey over there. And even though this next bit has nothing to do with the mission at hand, it's one of the funniest interactions in the entire game. So uh, take a listen to this cutscene. I felt like it would be cool to leave this in. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. He 
You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you and make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so demeaned in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay, so this is where Mary's father actually exits the horse stable, and now it is our job to sort of track him and follow him. But we have to keep our distance so that he doesn't spot us, and this is a really easy mission. I mean, you just basically have to follow him a little bit at a distance. He throws up on the ground, and uh, as soon as you go in between these crates another cutscene will trigger. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing, insult him. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! Now this is the part of the mission where you'll actually hear Mary comment on Arthur's weight if he's had a little bit too much to eat. So the line that she will normally say as you're crossing the street here is, you know, you could have cleaned yourself up a bit. And Arthur said, I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. Now, what's kind of funny is even if Arthur dresses up in like a nice suit, gets his hair cut, pomade, everything like that, uh, Mary will still say that. So you could look like a hobo or you could look like, you know, you're a king. And she'll still have that same reaction, which I think is a little bit funny. But here's what she'll do if you've had a little bit too much to eat and your character is overweight. Take a listen to this. He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You look well. You used to be so skinny. Yeah. Well, padded more like. Okay, so that right there is pretty funny, and I love Arthur's rebuttal. He says, you know, I'm just well padded. I think that's really funny, and again, it just goes to show you that Rockstar literally thought of every single detail imaginable. Like, the fact that they had to record that line if the character was overweight, that is funny. Again, it just goes to show you the tremendous level of detail that Rockstar has put into this game. Now, from there, the mission plays out like normal, and you actually encounter the father selling Mary's brooch in the back alleyway. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was and mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not a place to sell. Oh, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You yep. sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. 
So from there, it is your job to chase after the wagon, which is fairly easy. And when you do that, you reclaim the brooch from the guy who ended up buying it, which wasn't his to buy anyways. And you can buy it back to him for $100 or $50 or $25. But if you keep beating the guy up, he'll eventually just give it to you for free. And then from there, it is your job to return the brooch to Mary which will trigger this cutscene. Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. You want to take a walk? I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment? Why'd you ask? Uh, well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on <laughs> You and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> You ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lamb. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of beautiful. In a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. So as you guys saw there, I made the decision to go on a date with Mary. You can choose not to, and it will end right there. And uh, you actually go to the theater and can watch a show. Now, we're not going to watch the show, but uh, it gives you a good idea of what actually transpires in the mission. And you can choose to leave at any time, and it will leave off with this final cutscene. <sighs> um. All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. Man, Mary, if I, if anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. But once they're free, then I'm free then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will, once I get some money. And I had some. But then some fool got her trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. 
So actually, it's a pretty sad ending to this story because that's actually the final time that Arthur sees Mary, believe it or not. So even though this video was about a secret encounter that they have, if Arthur consumes a little bit too much food, it really is sad to see that this is the final time they would hang out together. And uh, that's something you might not have known about either. But anyways, that right there is a secret interaction you can have with Mary Linton and the final date that Arthur has with her in Red Dead Redemption 2. Let me know what you thought of this in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.